Hey Majestics, I'm back with another movie review video. So, this movie review is going to be about the movie Good Boys. And, hmm, how can I, okay, let me think how I can put this. So, you know how you see the trailers of a movie? Ain't gonna be like, mm, I wonder how that movie is gonna turn out. So, all the trailers that I've seen all have pretty much like the red thing showing that it's rated R. Pretty much like that one PG 13 is rated R. It should have kind of been, I don't know. It, it okay. So, anyways, the trailers. You know, they was put together to make the movie seem a lot more exciting and a lot more interesting than it was, than it, than, than it actually was. Like, and I know that some of the people who job in the trailers to, like, make you want to see a particular movie. Like, they put the trailers together to actually make it look good so that you want to see it. Which is a job, like, I want to find a job like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just put clips together and all that to get people, like, you know? They gotta be easy. Well, from what I read, they said they're not that easy. Because you don't really know what, you know, like, different stuff um, can happen in the movie like they get already have the trailer done and then like the directors can send a last minute clip to put towards it and then you gotta try to figure out how to make it look good and all this type of stuff so they say it's a lot of work but it looks easy anyways that's not the point of this video so anyway what they said though is that the trailer made it look more interesting than it really was and honestly this was a boring as an adult, it was boring. Like, and I guess maybe if they had, because like watching it, like, I was just like, maybe this was technically supposed to be a kid's movie, just with very adult content. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, it wasn't necessarily for adults. Like, I, I honestly feel like it should have never been made. Like, that's my honest opinion, and I'm not trying to be a stick in the mud and all that, but I just don't really think that that movie should have been made. Like, I guess the underlying story could have been, you know, the underlying reason could have been that, you know, it's boys coming to age, coming of age, and, you know, they are learning about new things and exploring things in the world and, you know, going through things that, that, that preteens and teenagers go through. However, it, it just seemed too ridiculously adult for children and for children actors. Like, I just couldn't get into it as a mom. I, I just, I'm like, oh, they're acting. You know what I'm saying? But I just couldn't get into it. It was just too much. It was too unnecessary. It wasn't funny to me. You know, like, it was a couple of chuckles here and there. But other than that, like, it wasn't a really entertaining movie. Like, I really think that it shouldn't have been made. Like, I just honestly don't think they should have made that movie at all i don't think that they should have wasted their time filming it and doing any of that um it was just a really not entertaining movie and if you're a parent with preteens and teenagers maybe like if they already kind of know about certain things then they may enjoy it um or if they don't know about certain things if they watch that they will learn about some different things, you know. Um, I just think that it was just too adult, too much adult content for children, honestly. And I know, like I said, I don't even really know if it was intended for an adult audience or intended for a actually children's, not children's. I would, I, I wouldn't say no little kids should be watching it, but like maybe like 
I guess preteen audience. So like, you know, 11 and up that type of audience like I don't really know what it was intended for and I could probably look that up to find out but I'm not really gonna do that um I'm just giving my review of the movie I don't really know what the screenwriters and the directors and all of that their actual intention was for it um it was kind of like okay it was kind of like Deadpool number one the Deadpool movie the first one with kids in it. No. Deadpool. Deadpool. That was... Whoosh. That was... Whoosh. <laughs> Deadpool was just... Something else. Like, I still... Like, my... My... Four-year-old... And five-year-old sons want to watch Deadpool. And I'm like, nope. Can't. No. 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 We, we can't do that. <laughs> we, we cannot do that. Like, because it's so much adult content in it. Like, real adult content. But that's kind of how I felt like with this movie. Like, this is not a movie that I would want my little sons watching. Like, I just don't. And granted, they didn't show some stuff. So, it was still kind of, um, you know, in the good boys, it was still kind of shielded. So, they didn't show a lot of stuff but it still just seemed too mature like it just seemed too it, it just it just wasn't it just wasn't it just wasn't and I understood the, the you know the storyline and you know all of that but I just as a mom I just didn't think that it was a good movie and I don't think that it was a good movie that should have been made like I just I think that that's not like one of those movies that even then as an adult you gonna watch and be like oh that was a cute movie with those kids in there like oh that was a decent movie that, like no you gonna feel like oh my gosh like my little brother like why are you watching you know what I'm saying like you gonna feel like them some little kids that you know that shouldn't even be talking about half of the stuff and granted i know that a lot of kids vocabulary and knowledge of different things especially in the mature you know stages of life talk about or the maturing stages of life that you know they discuss amongst their friends and they curse and do all this stuff i know that so i i, I feel like that the movie was trying to like really um you know, I guess make it like this is what your kids thought. Like maybe they like okay. Just thought like maybe whoever made the movie was just like, you know what? Maybe some of these parents don't know what their children are watching and doing when they're not at home. So let's show them. <laughs> like that's kind of the vibe that I got. Like the vibe was like, so we're gonna make this movie so parents can know what their kids are doing and watching and talking about when they're with their friends and when they are at home alone while you're at work when they come straight home from school or late at night like you know what I'm saying that's what I feel like I feel like it was that type of that type of movie so what would I rate this movie what would I rate the movie good boys <sighs> And granted, they had a couple different actors in there that, you know, that was cool. Like, Lil Rel was in the movie, and I didn't know, I didn't know he was going to be in that, and Retta. But I should have known, like, I was wondering, I was like, who's going to be, um, the little, um, the little African-American boy parents? I, I, I can't even think of his name. Because that boy, he looked like a mixture of Craig Smith and Pat, what is his name? How did I forget that, the comedian name? It was a comedian, and he was a black comedian. And it's slipped my mind right now. Craig Robinson. The dude looked like Craig Robinson. That's a comedian. I can't, I can't think of his name. He passed away. But he was funny as heck. Like, funny. And I don't know why his name is slipped my mind. But I'm going to remember after I'm done with this video. However, that boy was kind of a mixture. He looked like them. You know, and so I was curious, like, oh, I wonder who they got the parents is. But it would have made sense because real a comedian and real a comedian, so it made sense that they would have them two as parents, like, duh, you know. But yeah, 
so that's besides the point. That was I just wanted to bring it up. Was they really a comedic type of thing that was necessary for the movie? Mm, yeah, yeah, not really. But um, you know, it did show a mix of emotions and things amongst the children. So I guess that was a good thing. But anyways, my rating. What do I give this movie? I won't even try to make this movie ten minutes long. I mean, this video ten minutes long. But what I would give the movie is, mm, a I give it a three, and mainly because it was boring, and it was very, very mature for a children's audience or like for children to even be playing in it like that. Like it was just too mature, and it threw me off as, especially as a mom. Like I'm not saying that I, I don't know that you know, my sons will be exposed to different things or especially my 14 year old like you know that he doesn't know about a lot of stuff i just don't think that it was just a movie that needed to be made with children in it honestly i just don't i just don't think it was necessary so that's really why i'm giving it a rating of a three um is it something that you should watch maybe i don't know like i don't really think i don't think an adult would get too much pleasure out of the movie like honestly just be honest i don't think an adult audience would really enjoy it that much i think children really between the ages of like 10 and up not even up like 10 to like 12 would probably find some chuckles out of it you know but other than that it ain't worth it it's really not worth it but that is it for this movie review um you can drop a comment down below let me know if how did you feel like if you watched it if you've been anticipating or thinking about watching it and um, what your thoughts about you know movies like that with children and that type of content being included like you know what i'm saying have a combo with me like talk to me talk to me baby <laughs> but no so that's it for this video i'll catch y'all in the next review Bye, Majestics.